OK, so for question five, we are told what the area of a triangle is. We're then told what the base is and we need to work backwards to find the height. So first of all, we know the area of a triangle equals base times height divided by two. So I would work backwards. So I would first of all do the area multiplied by two. So seven plus three root three times two gives 14 plus six root three. And then all I need to do is divide by the base and that's going to give me what the perpendicular height must be. So the calculation I'm doing now is 14 plus 6 root 3 divided by 5 minus root 3. And to calculate this, we're simply going to rationalise the denominator, which means I'm going to multiply denominator and numerator by 5 plus root 3. So when I do that on my denominator, on my numerator, sorry, I'm going to get 70 plus 14 root 3. Uh, plus 30 root 3. And then here I'm doing 6 root 3 times root 3. I'm just going to write this up here. 6 root 3 times root 3, which is the same thing as 6 times root 9, which is the same thing as 6 lots of 3, which is the same as 18. So then my last term in this expansion is 18. And then on my denominator, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times root 3, 5 root 3, uh, negative root 3 times 5, negative 5 root 3, and then root 3 times root 3 is just 3. After that, we're going to simplify. So simplifying my numerator, first of all, 70 plus 18, 88, 14 root 3 plus 30 root 3 is 44 root 3. On my denominator, 25 take away 3 is 22, and then 5 root 3 minus 5 root 3 cancel out. Finally, I just can simplify this here. So 88 divided by 22 is just 4, and then 44 root 3 divided by 22 is 2 root 3. And so we've got our answer in that required form, where P would be 4 and Q would be 2.